Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. It is the start of 2024. We're still in the first week and now the heat's coming on. And I've been thinking a lot about New Year's resolutions and just how I don't think they're for me. I think that they just encourage like temporary unsustainable habits and burnout. So I decided, I actually decided this on my walk today, that 2024 is gonna be my year of doing things that I'm bad at and doing them imperfectly, doing them poorly, but just doing them and making an effort. I think it's one of the most important parts about creating a habit is just doing it over and over again. I think a lot of times we shy away from things that we're not good at. Me, for sure, I hate being bad at things. I hate feeling stupid. I hate like not being able to feel like I can compete in whatever realm it is. I'm just trying to kind of let go of that this year and just let go of my big ass ego that takes over a lot of the time. So the first thing is actually present in this room you might be thinking it's cleaning my room. It's not, it's actually the pull-up bar that I have installed in my door frame. I'm not good at pull-ups. I refuse to do them at the gym because I can't do one. So I just kind of like hang, kick a little bit, get like a third of the way up, can't do it. It's just, it's embarrassing, honestly. So my family was kind enough to let me take the family pull-up bar up to my apartment. And so every time I walk through, I like to try and do a little pull-up. My goal by the end of the year is to be able to do three consecutive ones. I think that's doable, but I'm not good at pull-ups, so I'm going to start doing them. Okay, as you can tell, it took it took a bit, but I got my first chin-up, and then I got my first pull-up, and then I got my first two chin-ups, and my first three chin-ups. Haven't been able to do two pull-ups, but nevertheless, I'm feeling pretty good. And this is almost embarrassing to me, but not quite, but really almost, super close. I'm going to be honest and say I think one of the like, most important parts for me is like admitting these things because I like to pretend I'm good at everything and I'm so wildly not. Anyway, the second thing is a bit ridiculous. It's Spanish. I'm not that good at Spanish. I have been taking it for far too many years to be as bad as I am at Spanish and I used to be embarrassed about it and I used to try and pretend I was but I'm not. I'm not great. I get nervous like speaking. It's not like fluid for me, you know? I am conjugating verbs in my head. I'm trying to come up with the right word. Like I can't just make mistakes. I want it to be like perfect and I'll still fuck up. Like it's just, Spanish is something that I've put a decent amount of time into, especially when I was home and then obviously when I was in Spain, that was probably like the best my Spanish has ever been. And then the rest of the summer I was working a lot, I was busy and I just did not make it a priority, honestly. And so I want to get back into Spanish. That's my big confession. At six o'clock tonight, I'm heading to a Spanish speaking practice event thing. I don't really know what it's going to entail or like what levels of Spanish will be there. I'm assuming people are going to be fluent and people are going to be obviously not fluent. It's out of my comfort zone. I don't want to go. It's going to be social and I'm just not looking forward to it. But I had to remind myself that this is something that I'm bad at. So I'm doing it because you never know. I am back from the meeting. I'm eating my Victory Chipotle. And I'm glad that I went. I was literally there for like two and a half hours, which is crazy. I met some cool people, practiced my Spanish, and just like sitting around chatting with people that I've never met. Like, I'm glad that I put myself out of my comfort zone. Success. Who's the subject of that? I am. We are in the living in our way. in El Extranjero. Y yo aprendí que es posible para la mayoría de estudiantes. Estoy llevando mis pijamas de los abuelos de Charlie and the Chocolate Factory ahora y también estoy haciendo mi tarea. Necesito dibujar un diagrama de flujo, flujo um, sobre un problema social y estoy escribiendo acerca de la falta de comunidad a mi universidad y cómo afecta la relación con el medio ambiente y sostenibilidad. Sost sostenibilidad. Sostenibilidad, sí. Um, estoy practicando mi español por, por este video. Um, pero sí, es todo. Adiós. This next thing I've talked about briefly, but it's running. I have always hated running, honestly. I was always fine with short distances, but when it came to like running the mile, absolutely not. And I see all these people running and I have a lot of friends that are really into running and they're very good at it. And I so wildly admire them for it. And so I've kind of been talking to them and I've realized that just like starting is the best way to go. And a lot of people that I've talked to have been like, 
it takes a few months and then you just fall in love with it and i don't know about that and also just like for me personally with exercising and like my workout routine running is never going to be a priority because i prefer strength training so much more so i'm not someone that like really wants to run a 5k like it's not going to be my goal for 2024 because i don't really give a shit about running a 5k but i do want to be consistent in my going out for a run i'm challenging myself this year it's basically like i get to explore but like at a fast pace you know so like instead of just like walking through the park i'm running through the park so i'm seeing so much more that's how i like to think of it okay it's snowing right now, so I'm heading for my run. Next up, this is kind of like two parts, making friends and making the first move. I've said this before, and I don't want to sound like dramatic, but also since starting college, I started in London, then I was in Boston, I was in Spain for a little bit, and now I'm here. And it's just like a lot of adjusting, a lot of putting myself out there, making new friends, being social, and like it's exhausting. And again, a lot of this was of my own doing. And I'm grateful for all these opportunities and also it's fucking exhausting. I think I've gotten a bit burnt out by all of this. So I want to get better and even do like a poor job but making an effort when it comes to like starting conversations in classes or like reaching out to people, I don't know. When I think back about like a lot of the really positive relationships that I've had in my life, a lot of times they've been the one initiating it and I adore them. And also like I don't know why I didn't make the first move. I think I used to be more social and I've kind of stopped being a social and that's not necessarily a bad thing but I also, I don't know, it's just like not a strength of mine. And also I think it's fairly uncommon that like you really enjoy someone else's presence and they like despise yours. I feel like usually it's much more like mutual, either liking or disliking each other, I don't know. So I just think it's very unlikely that like you're spending time with a person that doesn't want to spend time with you. That's me convincing myself. All right. Next up is meditating. I have been imperfectly meditating for six-ish months, but like super imperfectly, sometimes not doing it for weeks on end and sometimes doing it every single day. I wanna get better about that. I recently got a subscription to 10% Happier, which is like a guided meditation app and it has a lot of different topics and things like that. So I think it's gonna be quite beneficial. I've been using the one, like the meditation to fall asleep a lot and I feel like it kind of helps just like calm your mind a bit. Just like having the intention to meditate and sitting down and making some sort of effort is super important. I feel like they say the best way to integrate new habits into your life is by connecting them to an already established habit. And I'm trying to figure out what that looks like for me, like meditating. A lot of times when I finish my workout, I do like a cool down, stretch, and then I'll meditate just like at the gym because it's easy to connect those two habits. But I also kind of want to incorporate it more in the morning and like as a wake up thing. So I'm figuring out what works, but that's what I'm working on. Cause right now I'm not good at it, but hopefully by the end of the year, I am better. All right, these are some things that I'm working on and I will continue to be bad at until I'm not. Hope you guys are having a good start to the year. And if you have resolutions, hopefully those are attainable and you're enjoying them. And if you don't, I hope you're just having some good days back to back. Yeah, okay, thanks for watching. I love you guys.